Hello guys, it's Unders here for WarriorSoundBeats.com and I just want to help you guys out who are using FL Studio and a USB microphone. So, you know, if you've got your audio interface, you can usually just plug a mic in and record that. That's really easy. Um, FL Studio 20, especially on the Mac or PC when you're using ASIO or Core Audio, doesn't see two systems at once. So I'm going to show you how you can use something like this that's on USB. Uh, and add it into an aggregate so that you can then see both in FL Studio and you can record your USB and still hear your track back. Really simple, just follow along in the video. All right, so what we have to do to get this to work in FL Studio, we have to create something called an aggregate device. So step one is actually close FL Studio because it needs to be closed while we create this or it can't read what we're going to make. So command and Q on you. We really don't care about our savings. What we need to do is get into the core audio settings. I tend to just use Spotlight and if I just pop in audio, audio MIDI set up nice and easy. So I've already got my aggregate set up here, but we'll delete it and I'll make a new one. So if we click on the little plus down the bottom here, we want to create an aggregate device. We're going to make that and we need to choose here the two key things that are going to be part of it. So I've got the iRig Mic Studio hooked up, that's the USB mic. And then I've got my Universal Audio Thunderbolt set up and that's the interface I want. Now it's been pretty clever for me because everything's set up correctly, but it's got iRig Mic Studio set as my inputs look, We've got front left. For some reason it has two inputs, like a weird front and back thing, but we'll roll with that. And then the outputs of just the left and right from the UAD. Perfect, that's all I really care about. Everything else, as far as I'm concerned, can be disabled for now. So once that's set up, we'll rename it. And we'll call it FL Studio USB Mic. Now we know what that does and how it's set up. So once that's set, we can now launch FL. Now inside FL Studio, we've got to set that up. So we're going to go Options, Audio Settings, and ta-da, FL Studio USB mic. That's great, it doesn't change anything in here. What we need to do now is decide where we're going to record and we dedicate a channel strip to recording on here. So I'll go to insert 22 because it's the blank one on my template. We'll press F2 and we'll call it mic in in this case. You could call it main vocals or something like that. I'll tap F2 again and it's gonna assign it a color. Now on the mixer channel on the right hand side, right at the top we've got our input here. I need to set the input. Now I might need to cut the audio a couple of times here because I'm using the same mic. I can't record and set it up in here, but I'll explain what's going on. So I'm gonna choose my microphone in here. Remember we had that front left, front right from the USB mic. So we're gonna choose that as our input and we should see my voice start to be monitored. So we can now see the dynamics of my voice as I speak. Perfect, that would be our microphone input. We can see here that it's acknowledging the input and we can either monitor it or not monitor it, okay? Now when we record audio, we should now be able to record from that channel. We're gonna record audio into the playlist so you can hear it and hopefully I'm not gonna get awful feedback and destroy myself. So now we should be able to see my vocals being recorded into the playlist. Perfecto. And that guys is how you set up to record a USB microphone in FL Studio so that you can still hear and work on your track. I hope the video was helpful for you. If it was, please throw a subscribe on the channel and I will see you on the next one.